off. In particular, we see this one. I don't know if you can tell us a little bit about the timing here. What we're seeing here are multiple officers with long guns. So they've got these semi-automatic rifles. They're matching firepower with the gunmen, multiple ballistic shields, and at least one officer there wearing a helmet. Can you tell us, do you know when this was taken? That was taken approximately at 12.04. So this, if this, this is in the first half hour um, of of the shooter making it into the classroom. He he gets in there at eleven thirty three. So we are we are really at the the thirty minute point at this point. And this is one end of a hallway, and this is captured. And there is only one camera in that hallway, and so we see one end, but you can tell at the other end there are officers too. So everything we saw from this video is captured from that one tiny camera. Sorry, what questions do you still have? This reporting has been so long in coming and, and so hard to get. What's hmm. still out there? Um, I think there's a lot of things still out there. How how we still don't know a lot about what planning the school had, um, the school safety plans, those are, those are secret in Texas. Um, we don't know um, how teachers and, and students were alerted, you know, whether there was a system in place. Um, you can tell from the video that I saw that they got very little warning that, and, and it may have come just from the shooter shooting outside is how, um, the word got out into that building to start locking down. Um, but we still have a lot of questions um, about process. Um, at what point do you, you have, you have outgunned him rather quickly. There were, we had manpower, we had guns, we had ballistic shields. I'm not quite sure what else was needed. And that all came together pretty quickly. I would say he was out. He was out gunned and outmanned within the first five minutes after the shooting. Officers got there pretty quickly. And it just begs the.